All right, hey guys, welcome back again. Evaluate and simplify algebraic expressions. Evaluate and simplify today. All right, to do that, you gotta know your order of operations, which I'm assuming you know already. Uh, four steps, basically, when you're simplifying an expression, always do your grouping symbols first, powers, exponents next, then you multiply, multiply divide from left to right, add, subtract, left to right. Um, hear people say all the time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, is a way to remember it, PEMDAS. Um, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, just make sure you remember these four, you gotta go left to right, not the way the PEMDAS says. All right, a couple more words here before we get started, a variable. You know what that is, it's a letter, usually X, N is a lot, A, B, used to represent one or more numbers. An expression, algebraic expression, algebraic is a great word. Expression, an expression that involves variables, and there's no equal sign. That's how you can tell the difference between an expression and an equation. This is an example of an ex algebraic expression here. It has variables in it. Um, you know, no equal sign. It's an algebraic expression. A few more words. I keep thinking about the words. Terms. Um, this is called a trinomial. We'll get to that later, but this is made up of three terms. This term, and this term, and the negative seven. The negative seven is called the constant term because it has no variable. The other ones are called variable terms because obviously they have variables. Coefficient, should be a familiar word also. Familiar, uh, coefficient is the number right smack in front of the variable. Um, this three is a coefficient. The five is a coefficient. And the last word is like terms. Like terms, two things they have to have in common. They must have the same variable, and if they have an exponent, the exponents must also be the same. 4x and 5x are like terms. They have both have x's, both are the first power. 5x squared, negative 7x squared are like terms because, they, again, they have the same variable and the same exponent. The deal about like terms, they're the kind of terms, the only kind of terms that you're allowed to add and subtract with each other, and that's what we're about to do. All right, they're going to give you some problems today that say evaluate an expression. They're going to give you a value for x into the expression. So what we're going to do first is we're going to substitute that value into the expression and for the x's, uh, just like this. Again, sorry about the handwriting a little bit. Now, go through order, order of operations. First thing you do is exponents. So I'm going to do the negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9. Minus 6 times negative 3 plus 11. Then you do multiplication and division from left to right. So my multiplication is here. And also, that's negative 6 times negative 3, which is positive 18, going left to right, plus 11. Then I'm going to add and subtract left to right. If I add negative 36 and 18, that's negative 18, plus 11, negative 7. So make sure you get your order of operations there. Not very difficult. Just plug in um, the number for the variable. Um, a couple word, One more problem here. You're selling homemade candles at a craft fair for $3 each. You spend 120 to rent the booth and buy materials for the candles. First part, write an expression, remember the algebraic expression with the variable, that shows your profit from selling C candles, there's a variable. So we're selling the candles for $3 each. That means our expression is gonna be 3C, or three, which means three times C. Um, but it also says show your profit. We had to spend $120 just to rent the booth. So. That's going to cost us like minus 120 from whatever we sell to get our profit. So the expression is 3C minus 120. It says find the profit if you sell 75. I'm just going to substitute 75 in for the C. Everybody knows 3 times 75 is 225 minus the 120. And when you subtract that, you would end up with 105. So your profit, your net profit, is going to be $105 after you sell 75 candles, subtract it out your um, booth fee. Um, evaluate the expression. These are just exponents, just real quick. 6 to the third power um, is 216. I really did this for these last, these second two. The next one says negative 2 to the 6. You've got to be very careful, even using a calculator, when it says negative 2 to the 6 power, because I think when we look at that, we know the exponent's even. Anytime the exponent is even, we always think we get, an, we get a positive number, which in most cases is true. But this 6 applies for the 2 only. It does not apply to the minus sign. So I'm just going to raise 2 to the 6 power, which is 64, and I get negative 64 even though it was negative 2. But it was because it was negative 2. Number 3 is a little bit different because, you know, um, the negative and the 2 were both raised to the 6 power. The 6 
power there goes for everything in the parentheses. And because it's even, the sign changes to positive, and then you raise 2 to the 6th power, and you just get 64. So make sure you see the difference in 2 and 3 right there. That's going to be important, especially when you punch stuff in your calculator. If you wanted to raise the negative sign or not, you have to use parentheses. Um, the other one for simplify, no numbers to plug in this time. This is distributive property like we talked about yesterday. If you distribute the 3, you get 3y plus 6. Be very careful with the minus 4. Is a minus 4, which means it's going to change the signs. So I'm going to make that minus 4y and a plus 28. Now I'm looking for like terms to combine. First thing I see, I see these two, 3y and a minus 4y. 3y minus 4y is negative y. And I also see these two, a 6 and a plus 28. Um, 6 and 28 is 34. And that's as simple as you can get. Those are not like terms anymore, so that's as far as you can go. All right, last slide. We'll do a couple of these. Maybe I'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, this first one, again, directions are simplified all day long. Simplify the expression. So I'm looking for like terms. The first thing I see, and I always like to go with the uh, greatest exponent first. I see a 2q squared and a minus 5q squared. If you subtract those, you get a negative 3q squared. And then the other two terms in there, the q and the minus 7q, are also like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract those as well. 1q minus 7q is negative 6q. And there's that one. The next one has distributed over again. So I'm going to distribute the 8 through there. It'd be 8 times x minus 8 times 3. And again, there's a negative 2 here in front of it. So I'm going, to, I'm going to actually distribute a negative 2. Negative 2 times x is a minus 2x. Negative 2 times 6 is a minus 12. Look for your like terms. There's a like term. There's a like term. Uh, 8x minus 2x is 6x. Negative 24 minus 12 is negative 36. That's as far as you can go. Uh, we'll do that last one while we're at it. We're here anyway. Um, this is a tad bit different because it's actually using different letters. Not that big a deal, though. Those two both have x's. They're like terms. Have a negative x plus a 10x. That's 9x. And also these two are both y's. Have a negative 4y plus a 1y, which is a negative 3y. That's as far as you can go with your like terms. So that's pretty much it. Not too bad, I don't think. I will work on those in class tomorrow, and I'll see you then.